It says police. <laughs> this is quite funny. Some immigrant worker here at the, at the, uh, the mall here put all the, the snow where the police are supposed to park. Nobody can park it except the police. Well, we are immigrants, we don't like the police, you know, so... It's the only place that just piled it all up. Near the mall. That's the, uh, the Mason sign. Currently, a new wave of organized Swiss terror is blowing over me and my family with several Swiss newspapers teaming up together with the Swiss Nazi authorities and writing about me and my YouTube videos as on February 4th, which you can see here, and February 5th of this year 2015, just telling Swiss lies, defining me as a criminal and even a psychopath. So this anonymous video was was sent by the police themselves you know and it's it's the same footage i use anyway i mean anybody can just copy it on on the internet and it was a um, uh, there was just english sub subtitles on it they done it before they um in 2011 there was a paper just one a4 paper which didn't really say very much about it was just after the murder or the, not the murder the death the killing of this policeman because he was not murdered you know he he was the one who was terrorizing others and it was an act of self-defense of a swiss so uh, and then they they just put a paper there and out of eight million people living here they said well mr sean ross did it you know just like that no proofs nothing and because of that and my it's well the reason is my videos and the murder of this austrian guy you know related to the swiss banks it's all related to the Swiss banks anyway. And uh, well, you can, well, um, the anonymous guy, the mystery man, he sent me the um, uh, he sent he sent me the translation of the uh, the British English translation of the um, of the newspaper article. So I'll, I'll I'll film it in German as well. So it says, who sent the mail? Who sent the email? The email with the uh, with the video. Somebody sent it to the police and to the um, uh, to the newspapers. It's all a setup. They did it themselves, you know. They just want to um, to stop my uh, my historical analysis about Switzerland and kill me, as they have promised to do in uh, on several occasions. So this was the newspaper of Bern, that's the capital of Switzerland. So this is not a small newspaper, you know, they're really, really something teaming up there, you know. And here, you know, they lie about everything, it's full of lies, you know. And here it says that, that I glorified the police murder. Well, it's not true, you can see it by yourselves, I don't do that. I talk very quietly and calmly, I don't swear, I don't shout, I just want to, as the system is entirely corrupt here, uh, I, I just want to, to, to tell the truth, that's all, and I want this terror against me and my family to stop. But it's in fact the newspapers and the police who are glorifying with this article the terror on me and my family it's entirely the other way around there are a bunch of swiss liars and the twisters of truth and the swiss i tell you they're so absolutely sly in that oh yes yeah, switzerland never done anything wrong in the second world war oh we are you know with their neutrality swindle bunch of swiss liars and here it says South African. Well, it's because of the automatic translation, you know. The um, but that's me. That's me, the South African. You know, you have to go to prison. A, a cop hits you, lies things together at orders, and it's all related to the murder of this Austrian guy in the newspaper article I helped to write and my videos. And I have to get. I have to pay the money for a cop hitting me. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. 
Yeah, it says uh, the video on YouTube. Well, it's not only this video; it's my my all my videos, you know, especially the ones about the Swiss Nazis in World War II and the proofs. Yeah, they talk about the email and the link, and it came. They tell it themselves. It came from an anonymous sender. They don't know who they did it. So why am I am I being indicted? Well, this is what they do with immigrants, you know. It's a Swiss killing another Swiss. A, a poor Swiss guy, you know, he's, he's going to be evicted and terrorized from his uh, from his from his home on the streets by this aggressive cop. And so, in self-defense, he killed him. He shot through the door. So Swiss killing a Swiss, oh, and the immigrant is going to be guilty. Oh, welcome to Switzerland. Charming, isn't it? So here's some more from a national newspaper, 20 Minutes, which you find all over Switzerland. You know, everybody reads this. You know, you get it for free in trains. And I think in England and, and the rest of the world or Europe, you find it as well. It's like a free newspaper. but So everybody reads it, you know, telling all these lies. So I suppose 20 Minutes, I think it's Swedish. Well, I don't think the Swedes know how Swiss Nazis, how they are raping their newspaper, you know, with lies and for political aims, you know, to attack uh, racist Swiss aims to attack immigrants, you know. I don't think the Swedes know this. So here it is. They call it a, a hate video. <laughs> I mean, where's the hatred if you tell the truth? Um, I just want that Swiss hatred against me and my family to stop and I don't see any other way so they show a couple of pictures here from my from my video uh, well this this is not mine but this here is mine the, the images and this is what the um, well what the Swiss put in there themselves you know so they can nail me and they know as an immigrant it's it's a duck shot shoot you know so they can they will always win you know They'll always win. Swiss is always right. Even in international terms and after the war and all this. Um, yeah, here's some more. And um, so this is the uh, the English subtitles of the, the original text of what I uh, said in German. And here's some more. I think this is the last one, yeah. So you can... Yeah, so we can witness here in 2015. Uh, there it is. Here's the date. Yeah, it's just a couple of weeks back. You know, uh, the same technique here in Nazi Switzerland as the Nazis did in the 1930s in Germany with the propaganda war machine teaming up with the Nazi authorities and the entire people liking it. So, these people have absolutely have no conscience. You can see what they're doing with the ba banks and all this, the, the Swiss banksters and financing the Nazis and all that. The Swiss have no conscience at all. And nobody helps here. In other countries, you'll find somebody, you know, who say, well, this is so wrong what they're doing, you know, and who's willing who's willing to help but here there's nothing of the kind at all they're, they're all into it you know and, and you and you cannot say it you know if you say things like this they're all you're paranoid you know every everybody is against you hey oh, you must be sick in the mind you know so here that this this is why how they lock up a lot of immigrants as well so, you know, I, I don't recognize the system in the state and the, uh, the justice authorities, the police, the Swiss police, I, I don't recognize them anymore, you know, because they don't keep even their own laws. And certainly not the international laws. They're just a bunch of Nazi liars. So, here you can, uh, you can read the rest. South African, that's me, Zuid-Afrikaner. And uh, so this is the uh, in German, the original. 
So this is happening now, you know, it's, it's, and it, this is going on for 18 years. You, you better not open up your mouth in, in the Swiss dictatorship. <laughs> you know, here it says, Verleumdung, that means slander. Well, who's being slandered here, actually? With the police lying things together, you know, and put, to, to put me in prison, just, just lies. Who is being slandered? I'm just talking, telling the truth, and the video images are there. And, and my wife and children, they're witnesses, you know. They have no witness at all. They have no video footage. Beschimpfung, that means uh, swearing. I don't swear. I didn't swear. Why should I? I mean, with decent words, you know, you can express yourself much better than with swearing. I don't even do that. You know, it says unanständig. I, I didn't behave properly. Well, why not? Filming. Filming is not behaving properly. This is something the Swissy don't like, eh? And here once more. This is also February 4th 2015 again in another newspaper it must have been in I don't know dozens of newspapers it's that important to them so this is in Thun lots of Nazis there you know and it's you know the funny thing is it, it's exactly the same article as in the Bernese newspaper you know and uh, it's all Roth Rothschild medias apparently and um, you know, they, they just copy the same article. So, what's actually the difference with YouTube? They're doing the same thing, you know, like somebody copied my video. Well, they're doing it themselves as well. You know. So, this is Swiss direct democracy. If the Swiss majority says, well, the immigrant is a criminal and a psychopath, well, then that's it. That's it, what you're going to be. And with the majority standing behind it, the issue of a bad conscience is wiped off the table, since every, everyone agrees with it anyway, which the Swiss newspapers deliberately and premeditatedly are trying to do, to mobi mobilize the population into action against an immigrant and immigrants in general, and based upon Swiss newspaper lies, to achieve their Nazi-like goals. So you can see the old article. So it's exactly the same one as in the Bernese, the Bern newspaper. Well, this is also the canton of Bern, the canton of the bear. Just like in, um, in John's Revelations, as in the Bible, you know. So... The rest you can read in the other news, but in the other newspaper, which is the same article. And this is the poor guy here, Roger Funk Funkhauser. And uh, well, look at look at him. It's this. It's it's just a duck shoot. And just before his appeal case in a high security prison, the, the same one where they put me inside as well. It's just around the corner here. Uh, they murdered him a few days short of his appeal case. So this is why they uh, no case will ever get to a European case because people get murdered before, you know. So first there's a case, you know, a local case in a local court. Then it goes to the appeal court in Lausanne. Well, you never get there, of course. And then eventually, if you're lucky, which you're not, which you're not going to be, they take care of that. It will go to um, Strasbourg, to European court. And this is also why for, I think, more than 10 years, they had the Swiss director of the European court, Ludwig, um, Lucius Wildhaber. And when I dropped a complaint there, well, the Swiss gangster made sure that it, it, it never got anywhere, you know. They are everywhere in the world on key positions, the Swiss are. This is Octogon. I made a film about this. I don't know where it is, but go and have a look. And here I am in another newspaper in Bern. Der Bund. That means the alliance. Oh, the alliance with what, eh? With evil? With the devil? Or with octagon? You know? And here it says, South African, a historian. 
I'm very sorry. I it's not in English. I, you know, I put in the links for you so you can put the uh, the translator machine in it yourself. I don't know what how to do that. The other article in English, uh, it was um, it was the mysterious emailer that sent it to me already in in a translation form, which is not a very proper translation, but anyway. So this too, and this is in 2013, actually. Uh, it says some. I'll show you the whole article. Here it says, at the end of 2013. Well, I didn't even know. I didn't even know there was a trial case against me. <laughs> I mean, this is going on for 18 years. I mean, I, I just can't digest it anymore, and there's no hope for justice anyway. So why should I open their letters, you know? And a lawyer who doesn't do anything. Well, the Swiss are very sly people and lie and twist all the words in the newspaper articles against me and my family. And one can see how organized this process has been established. One can literally see through the lines and see the Swiss Nazi authorities talk and conspire with these media and all words leading to one conclusion without any spark of objective news coverage in it so yeah here, I, here you can see the whole article here well, i do it again just a close up so there it is from 2013 well it's it's about a year back i didn't even know that and um yeah they talk about the south african here all the time and actually i come here it says kinderfecker that means uh swiss Schweizer Kinderfeger, I mean Swiss child molesters. I, t I told the Nazi cops, you know, to bugger off and go and find some child molesters. You can't even say that here, you know. You know they talk about, you know, where we are clean Switzerland and free speech all the time, but, you know, if, if you really actually use it, they beat you down with it. And so long, you know, every time you hear the word uh, free speech, you, you duck down, you know, because you know you're gonna they're gonna beat you with it again you know so apparently they don't like south africans very much and it's getting very important to it to them yeah, it says south african and um there's just a bunch of lies here that's all the swiss can do yeah it says 2013 yeah so that's about last year one year ago here it says SVP. That's the Swiss Nazi Party. You know, the just the, the 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 police, the police director of, of the Justice Department, Christoph Neuhaus, Obergruppenführer. He's of the Swiss Nazi parties. Well, what do you know? Eh? Well, they all are, and even the left sort of left wingers, they all have Nazi-like ideas. I tell you. Yeah. And here they call about it, they talk about, well, they come back to it, they talk about a database. You know, they want to achieve new laws, you know, of total control over my case. And they know they're going to win it because it's a duck shoot. You know, an immigrant without any money, he can't defend themselves. And the lawyer isn't doing anything. He swears, what do you want, you know? So they're going to win the case and then they're going to bring it in Parliament. And they're going to have new restrictive laws, you know, to put people away before they can make a YouTube video. Yeah. They call it Querulant and Datenbank. Querulant, that means somebody opens up his mouth. Quer, that means, you know, uh, an obstruction. You know, an obstruction that has to be moved out of the way, and that's, that's what I want to do. Damn Swiss Nazis. Now they talk about that anonymous video that popped up recently showing uh, my original footage of that corrupt cop aggressing me, with this time English subtitles on it. So they're trying to make me responsible for something I didn't even do, which is not even a criminal offence in the first place, and for which I already got trialled and punished, which another YouTuber paid for in November 2014 to keep me out of prison and not have me murdered in there. It's totally illegal and against all laws to have someone trialed for the very same offence twice, which is not possible by law. Well, but Swissy doesn't abide by any law anyway. Never did, 
and never will. So this is the video, go and have a look, copy it if you can. And here it says, a Tarantino spin-off on a video which got the South African arrested by the Bernese counter-terrorist unit Encian. Uh, Heil Switzerland. According to witnesses, the SWAT team officers blindfolded him while pointing a gun to his head or three or, uh, as, the loader, as they loaded him in, in the transport. It was a futile attempt to demonstrate power by intimidation. They were able to domestically block the video for a while. It backfired. Bore Unchained, Volume 1. More stubborn than Django. Oh. And mind you, it's also very much related to the actual censorship laws in the make by the Octagon. Well, how convenient, eh? And winning this internet case against me, the immigrant, without defense will be a piece of cake. And just another duck shoot. So Octagon can use my internet case for the political onslaught coming up to install internet censorship for us all and adding up all similar cases worldwide in order to realize more laws for a new internet thought police. And, um, and of course, you know, you, you, you think you're far away like in the US, but mind you that this case here is related to the US and YouTube. And if there are more cases, like in Switzerland and in Germany and in France, you know, then there will be a, uh, the uh, consequences to the, um, um, uh, to the First Amendment. It's coming and they're working on it and they're using my case and another case. You see what's happening? So please copy this and talk about it and... Um, do something because this case here in Europe and many more cases will have a consequence on the First Amendment in the US. <laughs> so and the newspapers, well, they 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 love this. That's why they're all participating in you know this terror against me. So we can all read their 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 lies again afterwards and only their truth. You know, so do something. Plus the fact that Burgdorf in Switzerland is a traditional hotspot for Europe's neo-Nazis, where they have been announcing the various genocides of World War II for at least 200 years through the works of the Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski from Burgdorf, and now being read by the academics of that Swiss region, like Swiss judges and Nazi-orientated policemen, and the Swiss uh, SVP Nazi police uh, director in Bern, whose name I just told you. And it's exactly here where that corrupt Nazi cop aggressed me. And it is exactly here from where actual attacks from the Bergdorf Fascist Justice Department are coming from, in an atmosphere of Swiss Nazism and the genocidal legacy of the works by the Duke von Hund Radowski. Not <laughs> charming, isn't it? So go and have a, have a look at this video about the Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski from Bergdorf, um, which I recently made on the same channel. The title in the recent newspaper says that I committed an apology of a crime and that police murder, which was not even a murder in the first place, but an act of self-defense against that violent Swiss cop. And in that video I speak calmly, don't swear, nor shout, telling the truth in a desperate attempt for help and justice, to have someone stop that Swiss terror against me and my family in an utterly corrupted Swiss Nazi system, where we can witness that neither the Swiss authorities nor the Swiss media feel an urge to honestly investigate the matter, but rather consolidate their crime through more, tribe, uh, through more terror. And in this respect, it is them who commit an apology of crime. It's the crime against me and my family, an organized crime by the Swiss newspapers, the Swiss Nazis and the Swiss authorities, and the Nazis are on all key position here, 
um, in which they are perpetrating this apology of a crime against me. It's all the other way around. They are committing an apology of a crime and not me. I'm just asking for help. And an apology of a crime is actually one of the parading horses of the octagon in order to get new censorship laws on the internet as it actually is the case in France where after the Paris attacks of Charlie Hebdo hundreds of people got randomly rounded up by the authorities on apology of a crime by that fascist Prime Minister uh, Valls who is in fact Swiss and not even French just as Obama is of Swiss descent and born in some third world country where the only American value came out of a Coca-Cola bottle just like Aladdin from the bottle, so to speak. So, here in this article, which is very interesting, uh, I put in the links for you. It says, if Switzerland was a neutral country, <laughs> between you know, brackets, as they claim to be, they would not be home of to the state-of-art Onyx Intelligence Gathering System which spies on the rest of the world. In other words, the world's most advanced electronic espionage facility would not be housed in Switzerland unless it was home of the Central Intelligence Agency. So apparently this spying system is in Switzerland. Well, it doesn't surprise me and it won't surprise all of you who have been watching my films. And I can give you the answer of this now. That's the CIA is Octagon Swiss and it uses the same um, the same symbol as I found in the Jesuit church in, in Zolotorn in Switzerland so this is Octagon I tell you you know it was the OSS the office office of strategic um, service or something like that of the first world war and um, through the paperclip organization all the Swiss mercenaries who terrorized Germany, Europe and the Germans and killed the Jews. Yeah, watch my film Auschwitz made in Switzerland. They went to the US and we know through Red Cross passes they went to Argentina. They already had uh, gay, Mr. Gay Edgar Hoover. Her, uh, same family as President Herbert Hoover on key position 50 years the director of the um, the FBI so here you go the, the director of the FBI is Swiss his real name was Hoover watch my film Swiss sleeper agents and the CIA is, is the very same thing so this is why the Onyx intelligence gathering system is based in Switzerland where the money is and where they control the world. I mean, you want more proofs? The Templars founded Switzerland. This is all Templar stuff. And they um, give the orders to the, that worldwide um, web of uh, Freemasons. So the Freemasons are their political wing and the Templars are their military wing. Just as the cocaine in import agency there we go together with Switzerland so apparently there's some more people waking up well let's team up folks because this is getting very serious and here it says in the same website it says here CIA terror Swiss terror you know? well, that's where it all comes from well, here it is in Wikipedia. Onyx is a Swiss intelligence uh, gathering system maintained by the Federal Intelligence Service, you know, the SSSS, the Swiss Secret Service, or the SSS. I filmed it. And uh, Nachrichtendienst des Bundes, it's the Swiss CIA. I filmed it in one of my videos. And they're the ones who um, who killed the uh, tortured the Austrian guy who wanted to uh, give or sell banking CDs or on tax evasion to the um, to the IRS. 
and there are some good people still in the IRS, of course there are. And um, so they murdered him and I wrote this article in the uh, newspaper and well, th this is why I'm being terrorized. Because this is mafia law, the Omerta, the Swiss Omerta. So this is related to the, uh, to the CIA and the CIA is Swiss. This is octagon of the Templars. It's all Swiss. Don't be mistaken. Uh, they talk about secret detention facilities uh, in Switzerland run by the Swiss and in 2006 a Swiss newspaper, the Sonntags Black, they said well we're gonna investigate. Well now it's 2050, never heard anything of it anymore. So it always happens in Switzerland, just as they did with the Berger report on the Second World War. <laughs> just, just full of empty, empty promises they are, just to stall time. And of course these Swiss lying newspapers and newspapers in general have an interest to censor the internet. So we will all read their truth only again. So in order to sell more newspapers and, and at the same time killing the internet by censorship, these Nazi Swiss newspapers, they're telling just lies about me, you know, to, in order to sell more, um, uh, more of their papers. Same tricks as Charlie Hebdo was doing in France, you know. The apology of a crime lies here, in fact, that these Swiss newspapers back up the huge crimes committed against me and my family. So there are huge, huge issues at stake. And because of that, me and my family, we must suffer as a collateral damage. Well, the real reason why this corrupt cop aggressed me is the murder on that Austrian guy on orders by the Swiss Nazi banks and my name in an article in an international newspaper concerning that premeditated Swiss murder. Which I explain in this video here and several other ones. In Switzerland one has to prove oneself your innocence. And even if you do and manage to do so, they'll send you to prison anyway, especially if you're a foreigner. And here another article about me and my YouTube videos in some Swiss national newspaper of which I d even didn't know of, but was sent to me by the anonymous maker of that last YouTube up upload they talk about. The Bernese newspaper from the Swiss capital of Bern dates November 2013 about another trial against me of which I even didn't even know about either. There has, that, that there had been a trial at all. And you can see this is, uh, they talk about a beschimpfung, that I'm swearing. Well, you can all s see in the video I'm not swearing, you know, but they just want to get me in prison and then kill me, just as they did with the Austrian guy. And they talk about verleumdung, uh, um, that means slander. Well, who's being slandered here? I mean, I'm being slandered, you know, I'm being with the help of the media, you know. And this is, in fact, the real hate sp speech. When all these coppers here, you know, they're backing this up, you know, and lying, you know. Uh, well, the, this one cop uh, and his partner, they were lying and they all back it up, you know. So here's the hate speech and all the murder threats I'm getting in the Internet. And... Um, um, by the police themselves, you know, and it's all about my YouTube videos and that Austrian guy, really. So um, <laughs> they just twist it and turn it all around. The apology with a cr uh, of a crime is being done by the Swiss media by backing up this crime against me and my family and by the Swiss cops. Well, here lies the apology of a crime, really. I didn't commit any crime. I mean, it was a Swiss who killed another, who killed another Swiss. I mean, and the, the real hate speech is this cop, uh, Hans Rudolf Kuni, who was just lying. I mean, this is the hate speech. 
you know, lying, you know, to, to incriminate uh, an immigrant. Here lies the hate speech. And I, I'm just begging for help. Somebody do something because the whole system is corrupt here. The Swiss are just a bunch of stinking liars. I mean, I've got no other words for it, really. So here you can read the whole article. Um, so it might be the same as um, in the other. Here it talks about my YouTube, uh, video films on YouTube. Well, it's more about, it's not so much about this, uh, the video about this cop. It's more about um, my historical analysis of the Nazi Templars and what they did to the Europeans and other um, ethnicities uh, during uh, World War II. That's, it. That's what it's all about. So this was the end 2013 and it was in, again, another newspaper. But then... But they, but they copy it all the time, you know, just on, just as we do on YouTube, actually. You know, it's not, it's just all the same. So here it says, "BZ uh, Berner Zeitung," the the uh, the newspaper uh, of Bern. And uh, yeah, so this really is. A criminal organization and they have been doing this it's like the Middle Ages here really and the the Nazi era of the 30s altogether and then here in yet another newspaper also of Bern um, they trying to get new laws in you know over my like over my dead body almost like you know so to speak so here it is, the same article all the way down. And they, there's a lot of more rubbish in it. And here it is. They talk about a database, you know, like at the same time installing new laws for everyone. A datenbank, it's a database. And they talk about the, a guy who shot at the police, Peter Hans Knoebel. So they are comparing me with this guy who was, you know, who um who shot back well i'm not doing any things like this so they just try and this guy was swiss so they're trying again to make an immigrant responsible for the deeds of the swiss and this is what they always do here you know? and in that article here swiss he lies about everything as usual compares me with a swiss gunman who shot back at a counter-terrorist squad insinuates I'm a psychopath and talk about new measures and a national database to enable to put dangerous YouTube psychopath uh, away in a psychiatric ward forever before they can make any more for Switzerland dangerous YouTube videos oh this is their plan you know it's uh, it's a multifunctional plan you know to with with the um, with the uh, the newspapers backing it all up, you know, it's it's, it's like Nazi Germany, really. Yeah. And um, well, we all know they were behind Nazi Germany. And here, Christoph, the uh, the Justice Director, you know, he's behind it too, SVP, uh, the uh, the Swiss Nazi Party. I call him the uh, the Switler, Schwitlerische Volkspartei, you know. From Mr. Adolf Switler. And here again in another newspaper, B.O. Berner Oberland, Oberländer. So, Oberland. I think there was an SS division by that name. And again, you know, talking about me, the South African here, uh, the immigrant is, is guilty, YouTube. I think Swissy is very afraid of YouTube, you know. In, that's the principle here. They were always backed up by all the media and uh, they portrayed Switzerland as clean and, you know, and innocent. But now there's YouTube and the U.S. First Amendment. So um, all, all other things are like popping up, you know. They're, finally, they're not so, um, so neutral at all. It's all neutrality swindle. So they just want to, um, to smother the... Uh, free speech that's what it is so here you can see the new pile and uh, almost half an inch thick rubbish indictment 
actually now, in which several state attorneys being concerned to lock me up for a long time using the German words Vollstreckung, meaning to execute a prison sentence. So a cop hits you, lies things together, and then in Switzerland the victim of these crimes, if you're an immigrant, well, he goes to prison. The Swiss Justice Mafia also ties, tries to blackmail me and say, if I don't take off my videos, I'll receive punishment, plus money to be paid by that Swiss authority mafia in the very same way mafias work. They also talk about vorsorgliche Maßnahmen, which means vorsorglich to take care of, and Maßnahmen means actions, like a mafia, and they're literally announcing actions to take care of me. Probably one starting to steal my computer as they've done before in 2011, so I cannot make any more historical analysis about Octagon Switzerland. Two, put me in prison to entirely isolate me and my work. And three, ultimately take care of me in one of their Swiss torture detention centers and do what Swiss cops have already threatened me to do. If I wouldn't stop talking about Octagon Switzerland in both the indictment nor the Swiss newspapers, they don't utter a word about the numerous severe crimes against humanity done against me and my family, including 18 years terror, murder, kidnapping of two of our children, one dead, the other gone. So I just want transparency, so I'm going to film some of these incredible things here. So um, there will stay some evidence and people will see this, like on the internet. Well, there's, there's really nothing more left, you know, than the internet and YouTube for, you know, help or transparency in this utterly Nazi, corrupt, Swiss fascist state where they just do what they want. So first of all, the first paper of the, um, of the half an inch uh, pile indictment. Here's a lawyer, you know, who's working for the cops, and it is from Bergdorf, you see. Uh, and I told you, this, this is the place where the cop aggressed me, on orders. And Bergdorf has a, as I showed you in my video about the, uh, the Duke Hartwig um, von Hund Radowski, they have a very long tradition of Nazism and... Um, um, crimes uh, against uh, racism and well they've been talking for at least 200 years there uh, to eradicate certain uh, ethnicities in Europe which was done finally during the Second World War and these writings uh, about uh, of these um, races here in this place um, are being read now by academics like Swiss judges and higher policemen and um, of whom most of them who are like officers, they are in the um, in Freemason lodges, you know. And uh, yeah, so here this is the um, so this is like here it says. Um, this is February February twelfth, two thousand and fifteen. So that's now. And this is the Amthaus. This is the torture center, torture detention, the detention center in Switzerland where they also where I was tortured and where they uh, tortured to death uh, that Austrian guy so this is you know the banks are, are behind it anyway you know so and then here first of all this is about searching the premises in um, so that was in um, 2011 and I just wanted to show you, well here are some addresses, they put me in this prison as well. I saw all the old, so it's Mr. S. Moser, that's the, the state attorney. And um, because of, this is completely illegal, you know, because of, here it says, Hausdurchsuchungsbefehl, that means searching the premises or house search. So this is when the counter-terrorist police came, put three guns in my head and to intimidate me. Um, as the maker of the video said, well, this, it's a Tarantino spin-off. Here we can see the logo of the aristocracy. I mean, why is there a crown on it? You know, where, where, where is the direct democracy? Or the democ democ democratatorship? The bear, as in John? <laughs> I mean, 
I've shown you in my, in my last video just before that it's, uh, you know, they, they're in the White House. The Swiss crown and the bear, they're in the White House, you know. So um, here's the other side of it. So this is Mafia Practices. And somebody asked me for the name on the internet, uh, can you give me the name of the attorney who, who signed it? Well, his name is S. Moza. Like Mauser, almost, like the, the famous German Nazi rifle. S. Moza. And, uh, wow. And there is that lawyer there who doesn't do a thing. Well, yeah, they're all Swiss anyway. So I'm going to open it up. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to show it all to you. Just some, it's, it's, a, it's rubbish anyway. And um, so maybe one day somebody will read it when I'm dead and gone and destroyed. Maybe my kids will want to read it, you know. Uh, really, there's nothing else, you know, than just YouTube and the internet. And uh, th this is the rape of justice anyway. And uh, here they talk about other videos, you know, like from other YouTubers, like here, uh, Marino Delfino. Uh, the Swiss police assaulted Doc Ross. So... But don't worry guys, you know, don't be afraid, they're a bunch of criminals anyway. Um, so, you know, this is where humanity is, you know, we, we're ending up, like, you know, like, you know, I mean, where's free speech? And, um... Uh, It says, I'm from South Africa, and uh, uh, after this I'll show you an interesting part of a video, which I shot in 2011, I never published it before. So this is the, um, the lawyer, Ernst Weber, who's working for the police, they don't care, you know, they, well, I mean, they just want to put foreigners away, and it's it, this guy's from Bergdorf, you know. And um, uh, so here's some more Swiss criminals. He's the uh, the the president of the court, the ex president, Mr. Bachi. I heard he's a queer too. Well, these apparently the queers they don't like normal people anyway. And that's what I've experienced with the Swiss authorities here. It's probably not allowed to say that as well. But these criminals can just do what they want, apparently. Here they talk some more about YouTube uh, in San Bruno, California. So, I mean, they know it, that I published it under the laws, the First Amendment in America. So there's nothing they, you know, it's, it's, it's entirely against the law what they're doing here. Yeah. And here it is again, the president of the court, Mr. Bache. Um, highly organized criminals. And some more just goes on and it goes on and it goes on, you know, it's, it's, it's not even worth reading. But apparently it's very important to them. Yeah. Um, so I'm not going to bother you with it all. But uh, this part is interesting. It's called Vollstreckungsmaßnahmen. That means execution of a of a prison sentence. So that's where they're working at. So that's quite important, which is happening now again. It's 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 another court president of the court, Mr. Bela. Well, bunch of criminals you are. So this is what, you know, the aim is, you know, put all immigrants in prison. And especially if you open up your mouth. Of course, here it's all about money. Switzerland is all about money. They talk about more about money. They just want money, money, money. 
And here they talk more about money, Nazi gold, you know, all the money went here. This is where the financial elite is. They even talk about Alex Jones, maybe he dropped a complaint and indictment against me as well. Oh, he's Swiss anyway. Love Switzerland. I want a Swiss state. And here's real blackmail, you know, to, I think this is from 2000 then. But 13 or 12 or I don't know, they, well, anyway, they just send it to me now here again. And this is real mafia blackmail. It says if I don't take the videos off, um, they're gonna give me more terror, you know, treat me as a criminal, lock me in, have me pay money. So it's, it's like a mafia, you know, do this or otherwise, you know, um, it's completely illegal. They shouldn't have done it, what they did, you know, 18 years of terror. So now I'm opening up my mouth, you know, like um, publishing things about this. And um, it's hard to kill a word. Hey, Swissy, it's hard to kill the word. Yeah, and here they talk about vorsorgliche Maßnahmen verfahren. So that means vorsorglich to take care of and Maßnahme to... Um, to execute an order or action so they're gonna take care of me it says literally nice eh? Swiss Mafia well, here's some more you know showing YouTube videos you know of some of them I made this is about the uh, where the Swiss uh, Nazis burned down with some people dead uh, last year at the end of the year uh, on November the 17th, the, 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 the Luxor massacre in Geneva, they burned down a, uh, uh, an asylum seeker home, killing people. And this is happening all the time. So instead of investigating this, no, what did they do? They're trying to forbid my video. I mean, for God's sake, you can see the cop, you know, hitting me. Well, what is his hand doing there anyway, you know? So this is the, the, uh, the famous uh, new video of Polizei Albtraum and Glorious Justice. So they're making, they're trying to make me responsible for that. And this is Marino Delfin, Delfino. Uh, again, the cop assaulting me. You, the evidence is there, you can all see it. So don't worry, Marino Delfino, you're a great guy. And um, this is a sign that we are talking the truth here. And we found out some things too much. So don't have yourself, you know, like blackmailed by these Swiss criminals and I like you. I like Marino Dolfino. Thanks, guy. And, um, well, it goes, there's more, than, you know, it's all, it's all censorship. And at the same time, you know, they're using it for several laws. Uh, they're calling it apology uh, of a crime. <laughs> I mean, I didn't shoot that cop, eh? You shouldn't lie things, you know, on, on orders. So the apology of a crime is actually this, you know, go on terrorizing me and um, which is lying things together using, using the state's authority and the newspapers in which lies the real apology of a crime against me and my family. And this is the slander. This evil cop talking lies about me all backed up by Swissy and their authorities. This is the slender. I'm not a criminal, Swissy. I'm not all these other things you're telling me and talking about. I'm not a criminal. You get it? And um, I'm not a psychopath either, as you're trying to, you know, that, that, that will be a solution to, to the crimes you've been doing. Eh? Just give me a stamp of being a a uh, psychopath, you know, then, well, I mean, I was talking rubbish anyway, eh? There will be a solution, uh, another witch hunt. And um, at the same time, they're trying to push in new laws about the database, putting psychopaths, you know, a YouTube psychopath from South Africa in prison, and the rest as well. And this is where we, it's, it's all actually happening. We can see the same thing in France. Uh, after the Charlie Hebdo thing, and in uh, in the U.S. with the uh, the Patriot Act, and uh, well, this is their goal. What do you want? 
the apology of a crime and the database for to put people away before, you know, just based upon other, you know. That's what they're working on. Total control and to push humanity down. Can't say a word anymore. Just bow down and you know receive the blows. You know, just just get the max load. But don't open up your mouth. And against drugs, child molesters and banksters, the Swiss Nazi police doesn't do a thing. As you can see here in these old videos with my old mini DV camera from 2011 of drugs crime right next to the burn police station, just 100 meters, 100 yards away. Instead of that, they terrorize innocent families with lies, murder and premeditated police violence with slander on immigrants like on me with uh, an apology of crime like in my case they do with me and with hate speech all the murder threats I'm getting and the lies of the police these are the true this is the true hate speech which is happening here and the true apology of a crime and um, excuse me the footage I did it it was dark I did it with my old mini DV and as I'm such a jerk with the internet, nobody's helping me with it. Uh, the only thing I can do is, uh, is, is, is videotape uh, the screen. I just film the image here. Uh, the only thing I can do with my um, uh, HD camera is put the uh, USB uh, connection into the computer. And that's about it, you know. So, well, here it is. Um... There we go. Scheiße, die Bullen machen nichts. Sie alles drogen und verkaufen. Nichts machen sie. Und wenn du nichts machst, dann setzen sie dich drei Pistolen auf den Kopf wegen nichts. Und da stehen sie alle hier. Mann. Ganz ist voll hier damit. Ganz ist voll. Wir werden noch aggressiv. Wenn du da. Nein, sagst wegen dieser Scheißdrogen. Ihr verdammte Polizisten. Ihr schützt Kinder, Ficker und Drogendealer, Mann, ich sag's dir, ey. Ihr seid doch das letzte Abschau, Mann, ey. Voll aggressiv werden die Typen auch noch. Nachher kommen sie noch. Überall. Fucking drugs. Überall. Und da kommen sie schon. <lacht> ja, verdammt. Fein, Mann. Ich hab's Hier, fein. Ich hab's Oh, fein, fein, fein. Aggressiv, ey. Hast du gesehen, Mann? Hast du das gesehen? Da kommen sie, da kommen sie, schau. Ja, klar. So. Das gesehen irgendwie aggressiv, ey. Das ist mal ein Arabe mit dieser Scheißdroge. Und Polizei? Nirgendwo. So this was uh, right, uh, not very long after I was arrested by the counter-terrorist squad. So um, I was still quite in an agitated mood because of this. And shortly after, I decided not to go out anymore alone. Uh, I really had to. So I was with the German guy in the car here. And it was about 10 or 11, no, I think 10 or 11-ish in the evening only. I mean young kids walking around there as well you know and all and when we try to to videotape the drug dealers they even attacked us you know trying to smash the window throw things at the car so we so we had to go get out of there quite quickly before before like getting stabbed with a knife in the back you know and um the police you know and it, it, you can't even defend yourself because you're the one who going who is going to prison you know if you 
it's it's a good deal, you know, for the police and the the cocaine import agency. It's it's the police themselves who are, and the authorities who are get an octagon, the Templars who are getting the drugs inside. It's them, all right, you know. So excuse me, the bad footage, and um, so this is right near to the Swiss police, the main police station in the capital, just. 100 yards away or 200 yards away, not more. And they don't do a thing. Instead of that, you know, they're writing pages and pages after page and terrorize innocent families. And because they're earning a, a big buck through the drug business. The Freemasons and, I mean, the Taliban and uh, the, the Muslim Taliban, they completely abolished drugs in, in 2001. And, there were no more. I, I showed you the statistics in one of the other movies. With this stuff, you know, they're um, trying to destroy our kids. and Terrible, terrible, terrible. I hate drugs. I, it's evil. And the evil Swiss police, they are, they are in it. Nowhere to see. And if you see how much effort they put in it, you know, 18 years of terror against me and my family. We are no criminals, you know. I've, I've, I've never done anything criminal in my life. They are the criminals. And so much effort they put in it. And compared to that, there's no single cop to see. And not even a camera. You know, the, the drug dealers, they can do what they want, you know. And I saw it as a non-criminal that they put me in prison for altogether for a year. Almost a year, I think it was 11 months or something. And uh, full with innocent people. And the drug dealers, when they came in, one or two days they were out. I saw it with my own eyes. It's all a big lie. And Switzerland is all about money anyway. Nazi money, Nazi gold. It's, it's just about money. The financial elite is all here. And, uh, well. and be aware... If you dare to speak about it on the internet, then the Swiss Mafia Omerta will take care of you. Religious Christian people once told me that the devil doesn't want to be spoken about, so people ne neglect his existence. And this is so typical for Switzerland. Nobody speaks about Switzerland and their crimes against humanity. And the media just portray this base of all evil as clean and neutral. And no government on earth will ever act against Octogon, as the Swiss Templars issue all orders to their worldwide web of masonry on all key positions in the world. Just as Christians believe that Satan doesn't want to be mentioned. Myself, I'm not religious, but I fight the forces of darkness. Maybe because I'm not religious, and I'm not waiting until some god is going to do it, but I'll try to do something myself.